was going to use the big power bank but I think we'll get away with that we're staying on campsite so we're going to have a lot of power so I think I only need that one I've spent a long time in this van on my own, but the most, uh, the longest time when there's been me and Helen has probably only been like a long weekend, two or three nights. So four weeks going to be difficult. So I'm just getting it all sorted. There's tons of stuff that you put in van that you don't even need, but we're going for a hike as well. And there's quite a lot of hiking gear. It takes up quite a bit of space. I'm now in the world famous Asda car park and uh, you're watching this on Sunday night and I'm on a trip with Helen, we're going on a week long trip and it's dead exciting, we're going all over the place. The first video of our trip will be on Thursday, so tune in for that, that'll be at 6 o'clock on Thursday. All being well, as long as internet works and everything. So because I wanted to get a video out tonight and keep the algorithm happy, I put a post on my Facebook page. So if you're not following me on Facebook, on By The Curb Facebook, please follow. Uh, and I asked a question. I asked if anybody got any questions uh, because I do get a lot. So I thought, well, I'll do them all on a video, a Q&A. So that's what this is. Now I put that on and uh, I've just had 100, well last time I checked there was 125 plus questions. So I've got my glasses and I've got them on my phone. I don't know why I'm going to get through them all, to be honest, but a lot of them do sort of repeat in a way. All right, let's move that out of the way. I've got my drink. I'll have to keep stopping and having a rest. <clears throat> so here is my genuine, honest, answers to your questions Gavin Shoesmith in your valued opinion which branch is the best boys you see these are the sort of questions that I love we need to get to the heart of the matter here my favorite boys branch has got to be Bridlington because of the cafe on the top floor that cafe is amazing they ought to be sponsoring me I'm telling you so if you're watching Mr. Boys please sponsor me <laughs> and you can provide me with free steak pies because their steak pies are fab uh, Scarborough's a really good branch I like Scarborough but they shut the cafe down what's all that about we need to bring it back Rain Gollebeck hey up we totally love your vlogs will you and Helen be arranging a meet up with subscribers at some point Helen keeps pushing me to do something and I'm I'm a little bit I don't know I feel like it's a little bit presumptuous like and then I'm paranoid that nobody would turn up I love it when we see people out and about but we will do it we're probably going to do a van life festival we hopefully got something happening uh, coming up in summer in Barnsley and maybe we could do something there around about that time hopefully but that's we're just sort of trying to sort that out Tracy Brown if you owned a racehorse, what would you call it? Keith. I don't know why. Nicola Evans. Would you do a video with St. Christopher of Atlantis? That would be funny. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do a video with them guys. I think they're really good. Uh, so we need to set that up. We can sort of, I don't know, meet on a campsite somewhere, do a bit of a pub crawl, whatever. They might not want to do a pub crawl, that'll just be me and Alan. So, but I'm sure they like a drink as well. <laughs> uh, also, do you ever park outside Helen's house and sleep in the van? No, but I did do it once when she was going on holiday. It was when I just got the van, when I just started doing it and she was going away and she had to set off. She went to bed early because she was setting off in early hours and I got there late. So I just slept in the van outside her house and then I sort of woke her up at about three o'clock in the morning. That's the only time. Andy Allen, Monster Munch or what's it's Monster Munch. Lisa Cassinelli, do you like Henderson's Relish? Yes, I love Henderson's Relish and I have some in the back of the van. 
uh, Steve Rice. Oh, football. As a, oh. As a Leeds supporter myself, what team do you support? I am guessing Barnsley. And the second question, will you marry Helen at some point? I would love to marry Helen. I absolutely adore her. Uh, yeah, we, we just, we're not in any rush, sort of, really. I, I don't, you know, we'll get around to it. <laughs> we'll do a live stream wedding like he did that, uh, rate my takeaway. Oh, that'd be cheesy, wouldn't it? Football, t what team do I support? I really didn't want to do this because it divides people and I don't want to lose. When a lot of people hear what team I support, I'll I'll lose a lot of subscribers. <laughs> it's based in South Yorkshire. I support all the teams. I'm sitting on the fence. You see, in my family, I've got Sheffield United fans and I've got Sheffield Wednesday fans. I've got Rotherham fans in my family and a few of my best mates are Barnsley fans. I really have a soft spot for all. I don't think I've got any mates that are Donny fans. But whatever, I really support the local teams. But if I have to be honest, and I've said I'd answer these questions honestly, uh, my dad started taking me to watch Sheffield Wednesday when I was about six years old. And I watched them for years. We had season tickets. And then a few years back, I stopped going because I've fallen out of love with football. It's It's been ruined by all the money, in my opinion. So I do, I do still watch them. And, you know, if they're on telly, I'll watch them and stuff like that. But then I'll also watch... I watch all teams really, all local teams. Because I always think we're all like we're all Yorkshire, aren't we? You always want to see Yorkshire teams doing well. How's that for sitting on fence, eh? But I do mean that, honestly. Right, Nikki Hill has sent me an essay. So <laughs> I'll get through these quick. Greetings from Australia. These are YouTuber questions. Earnings versus hours worked. I assume that means hourly wage, is it worth it? Well, it's best job in the world. I absolutely love it. But if you worked out the hourly wage, it's not very good. What's the best things and the worst things of being a YouTuber? The best thing is the freedom. If ever I want to take my daughter, I'll spend time, you know, take my daughter somewhere, spend time with her. Uh, I can just do that. But the worst thing is you just live in this YouTube world where I'm constantly thinking about it and it, You've got to be churning content out. If you stop churning content, and I've got to be completely honest with you, I guess that's why I'm doing a QA and a now, because I won't have time with a trip we're going on to put a video out. So I thought, I'll do this, film this, and at least it's keeping... You've got to keep the sort of rhythm of, you know, I try and do two, sometimes three a week. I'm going to have to scale back from three a week, though. It's just not possible. So it is stressful. Do you and Helen ever go out and not film yes we, yeah we don't feel like it sometimes uh, does always thinking of content consume your life yeah do i still enjoy it i love it what has changed in your life since i started it's definitely my confidence i was quite sort of shy and a bit i had anxiety i've talked about that in the past but i'm a lot more confident now but then every every so often you like freak out a little bit and you think i'm putting a video up and some of them like 40, 50,000 views, even more. And you think, if you think about it too much. But then it's sort of, it's like when I watch myself on telly, it's almost like it's not me. Does that make sense? I don't know if this sun's too bright, sun's shining on camera. Bloody hell. I'll answer this one when I'll have a look at the footage, see if it's all right. Uh, what's the best and the worst reactions from the public when filming? I've not had any bad bad reactions and you know you get people waving and saying stuff but it's all it's all a laughing to it. I don't it don't bother me all like that. In fact it adds to it, doesn't it? I need to check this footage is recording alright. Back in the room. Enid James, I've just watched your latest and I can't keep wondering why at fifty one you have no house. Don't answer if that's too personal. It's because I choose not to. I've had I've owned quite a few houses. I, I left home about 17 and I bought my first house at 20 odd. I got married at 20 and bought a house. So I've had houses. I've, I've lived all over the place. It's just something. I think because I left home really early and I got married too soon and I was in a serious relationship, I never had time to sort of enjoy my youth sort of thing. 
and then I've always been I made a lot of mistakes in my life like having huge mortgages and flash cars and all that and I couldn't ever afford to do anything because I was paying bills so that's why I decided when I had one of my midlife crises I thought sod this I want to live in my van and just free up some money and have quality time with me with my kids and and with Helen and it's just a nice feeling having spare cash but I will go back and have a house at some point me and Helen Stuart Gilstrom when will you stop doing vlogs is that a request <laughs> stop I don't know I'll stop when I get when it's not fun anymore but then it might just end up a job I see a lot of youtubers that are just doing it as a sort of job and you can tell Austin Massey are youtubers being hassled to keep saying like and subscribe I see a lot of content makers looking stressed about getting content out uh, seems to me like another job if you're under pressure yeah it's like what I touched on earlier you're you're a slave to the uh, YouTube algorithm and the more likes that you get the more subscribers you get that's it's building your business uh, yeah if, if you just if you didn't put the effort in if you didn't have as you know if you if you, if you didn't have that sort of interaction it's even comments it all adds because YouTube looks at it and they see people commenting and liking even dislikes and stuff like that they see this interaction so it pushes the video which more people see it and at the end of the day you do it the more views you get on a video the more you earn on it Gina Buttery what annoys you about other van life tubers the fake drama and it's all over vlogs for example and who do you like watching on the tube uh, and how long do you see yourself doing van life? So there's a few questions there. Yeah, there's some... I don't want to slag off. I don't want to slag off other YouTubers because we're all just out here trying to do his thing and everything, but I see some van lifers. I'm not going to name any of them, but they always seem to just have a drama every week. And you know the people... Is that sun shining on it again? You know, it makes a change for sun to be shining, doesn't it? I can see a, a flare on the screen, I hope it's alright. Because I don't want to have to record all this again. So yeah, I see some YouTubers, you know, we got the knock and there's people outside the van and it's like happening every week and you think, rubbish, it's never happened to me. You get that we got attacked but then we did get attacked. <laughs> Although that one ought to do with van life. Uh, and then like, uh, is it Gina? That's what Gina said, you know that. It's over, and they plast it on the thumbnail. It's over, what they mean is it's like that camp in that town or wherever, that's over. It's not like end up YouTube or uh, How long do you see yourself doing van life? I don't know, I'm enjoying it. I can see it doing a, another couple of years at least. And I do want to get a house with Helen at some point and but even when we do, van life is still going to be massive. We love it. We absolutely love it. What other channels do I watch? Well, I did another video about this, about other channels I watch. Uh, but I want to mention, I made a note here, a couple of others that I didn't mention in that, and they're American or Canadian. There's one called The Fine Print. I really like him. There's Ryan Twomey, spelled 2-M-E-Y. This Foresty Forest, he's great. Uh, and then somebody recommended another channel to me on that video and it's excuse me it's not a van life channel it, but it's called Mr Bollen or Mr Bollen B-A-L-L-E-N if you like stories that's great for when you're driving and they're all true stories but you know like gruesome things and stuff so it's not really suitable for kids but I really like that he keeps you hooked it, he'll tell you a story it's about like an hour long but and you find that you've been listening to it all it's really good Had a little pause then. I should have not really been doing this in an Asda car park. I've parked right up against this bit here. But you know, when people walk past with the shopping and stuff, you get some funny looks because I've got a big camera on the dashboard here. Where are we? Mark Kitchen. Right, some of these questions that I got, I know they wanted Helen to answer, so I did text Helen last night. 
and I've got her answers. So the ones where Helen answers, they are her genuine answers. So Mark Kitchen, what's the most irritating thing about Helen and vice versa? LOL. I like to put LOL on. I was like, I'm just joking. So the most irritating thing about Helen is that she reads absolutely everything. <laughs> and I'm like, I always want to be moving along. I can't spend too long. So we clash in that sense, but we just both we tolerate each other, don't we? But she does, she stops and reads absolutely everything. Any sign, it's weird. Just any road, any sign. As you're walking down the street and there's a plaque, she reads every blue plaque, she reads everything. But I don't know, a lot of people think that's a lovely thing. It just irritates me a little bit. And then the thing that irritates Helen about me is that I drive like an old man. And and she's and it, when I drive her car, she's got six gears and I never, I probably don't get out of fourth really. And she's always telling me off. She hits me on hand, you know, like a piano teacher. And she'll point at gear stick. She beats me. David Hardcastle, do you have any plans to explore the south? A weekend in London would be a great start. Yeah, I've got, I'm coming down south uh, in a few weeks, southeast to start with, but I want to do a lot more south stuff. I don't know about London, to be honest with you. Because you've got van, all chargers to get your van in. It's just expensive, isn't it? I don't know. Tracy Jones, tell us the story of how you two met. Well, it will know too uh, romantic it was it was tinder <laughs> i think alan felt sorry for me because everyone could everyone kept swiping right right moving on but then she says you've got an old photograph on it weren't an old it weren't that old but you're gonna put your best photo on aren't you it's just when people put them on they're about 20 year old chris patrick chris patrick Cob, bap or roll? Bread cake. Wayne Tavitt. If you won the lotto, where would you move to? Would it be together and would you still have a van for to hitting the road? 100%. Sorry, I weren't taking that. I weren't taking it in as I read it because there's somebody inside of me. So if I won the lotto, where would we move to? Uh, probably Sheffield. Peak District to Sheffield up that end. So we've just got countryside right close. Oh, they're going on phone now, so I'm going to have to listen to their conversation. Then would you still have a... Oh, they're going. Would you still have a van for hitting the road? Yeah, we'd do van life. I'll, I'll do... We will do van life for as long as we can. It's like the best thing ever, just to be able to travel around and, and go to different places and have all your luxuries. Right, I'm getting a bit harassed, so I'm just going to go in Asda and uh, I need to get a few bits for this trip and then I'll come back and I shall continue this where we left off. Right, let's try again. <laughs> I keep getting distracted so many times doing this video. Battery packed in, then somebody's ringing me, then cars pulling up at site, so I've got it back at van and try and, try and do it all in one go now. Okay, let me. Where was my place? So, next question, Chris Morris. My question would be: If you were both had a day to spend together, wherever, and eat whatever, where would you go, and what would you eat, and why? Also, you're allowed to bring one person each, living or dead, to join you. <sighs> right, I I did ask uh, Helen this one. She wants to be in. New Orleans eating seafood with her mum, bless her. Uh, Helen's mum passed away two years ago and she, you know, she still misses her terribly, like a lot of you will know. Uh, for me, God, I'm tempted to say Benidorm, I love it that much. Uh, It'd probably be some sort of like Caribbean island. It's very cliched, isn't it? But some Caribbean island, and mine would be seafood. It would probably be garlic prawns. I love my Sunday dinners, but I don't think that goes in with Caribbean island thing. I know what I have there. I'm just looking at my book there. George Orwell, maybe? I don't know. Christopher Hitchens, the late Christopher Hitchens. He was a bit of a hero of mine. Uh, an author, speaker, really, really interesting guy, very intelligent. Uh, 
So yeah, that would be my choice. Next question. Linda Wright. Say A up cocker to Linda Wright. A up cocker. Please, as I have nearly passed my nursing, I'm going to work in the community of Shaky Wakey. Good luck with that in Wakefield. I would like to know if you are going to try any festivals. You would love them. Yeah, the problem we've got is Hel all, Helen's work patterns are all over. It's such a nightmare, so we never know what time she can get off. We have been invited to a van life festival already, which we really wanted to go to, but it's looking like we can't go to that because of Helen's work pa patterns. Uh, we're going to be going to another festival in the summer in Barnsley, a music festival, hopefully. Hopefully we can do that, and that's when I'm hopefully we, you know, we can meet some subscribers and stuff and have a good day out. Other than that, van life festivals, I might, I'll just have to go on my own <laughs> if Helen can't get time off. But it's just not saying we are Helen. So there you go. Dave Higgins, haven't seen any fish and chip reviews for a bit. Probably a good thing because I always want fish and chips after watching them. Where would you and Helen buy your forever home? Well, that's similar to what I answered earlier. Uh, it'd probably be, you know, that side of Sheffield as you're going out to the Peak District. Uh, you know, like Dor and Totley and around that area. Not that we'd ever be able to afford that, but that's like your dream, isn't it? Or my dream. Keith Harvey, would you consider living aboard a narrowboat? There is a lot of interesting history surrounding the canals and rivers. The van is nice, but imagine the peace, quiet, and experience of being close to nature. Enjoying the vlogs, thanks. Yes, I would love to live on a narrowboat for a while. I'll just try it. We're even trying to. Well, we're thinking about doing something with the Norfolk Broads as a bit of a, a test, but we've got to make some inquiries into that. But yeah, the peace and the quiet and the coziness that that really appeals to us. Du, du, du. Michael Ridley enjoyed our trip to Halifax. Thanks to you, going to Hull next after watching your video. Can you recommend somewhere else a hidden gem? I enjoy going somewhere I've never been before. Well, it depends what, <clears throat> where did you say it'd been? Halifax. Uh, Ripon were really, really nice. We loved Ripon. Be better if it's going to be a nice warm summer's day, go to Ripon. Skipton was great. If you want, I mean, you've probably been to places like Liverpool. Liverpool were fantastic. We loved Liverpool. And Newcastle were brilliant as well. But we've not, you know, we've not been doing this that long, so it's we're still finding these places. So keep watching the vlogs, and you might get some more tips. Human Carly, favorite pub in Yorkshire and UK, and are you coming back to Skipton? Yeah, we'll definitely be going back to Skipton. Favorite pub in Yorkshire and the UK. God, I can't. There's that many, isn't there? In Yorkshire, one of my favourite pubs is in Sheffield. It's the Sheffield Tap, but that's just like a personal thing because I meet like one of my oldest mates there, and we go all the time. And well, not all the time, but when we do meet up, we go to Sheffield Tap. So I do like that. It is a good pub. Massive selection of drinks, and right in train station. Uh, the one in York, the House of Trembling Madness. Look that up, that's a good pub. Oh, and there's Valhalla. I really like Valhalla in York. Don't know why. It's like a Viking pub. I just don't know why I like it. I think I like the music that they play. They play like a bit sort of hard rock and stuff. So I like that. In the rest of the UK, probably in Liverpool, that one, uh, the Vines. There was Some of the best pubs we've been in were all in Liverpool. So the Vines, or I think they call it the Big House, that is beautiful. Philharmonic dining rooms were brilliant. And I liked a place called the Post House, which was nothing special, but I think it was just the fact that we just had a good time in there because the people were act friendly and everything. So you could go in and it might be dead. It's just a standard pub, but we had a good time in there. Sam Jade Slater, when are you and Helen tying the knot? I want to get married and I think Helen 
wants to get married but then she keeps saying well there's no rush i think she's just hanging on waiting for some something better to come <laughs> I don't know, we both want to get married. I've been married twice before though, so, and Helen was married previously. You know, I don't, it's not like we need to do it. We love each other and we're very secure in his relationship, but I guess we will do it at some point. That's a bit of a crap answer, isn't it? And we're back. How are you getting on? Are you still, are you still there? It's a right marathon, isn't it? I don't know how many's left, but I think I'm about halfway. <laughs> I might have to do this in two videos. I'll, I'll not waffle as much. Johnny Eckrub, what would you tell your younger self if you knew then what you know today? Uh, I would say don't rush into a relationship when you're young like I did. Be frugal. I wasted all my money. And don't tolerate people that are not nice to you and mean. So there. <laughs> that, that's the yeah just live your life a little bit don't put up with crap in a relationship i mean a few people andy pope or oh no two people andy pope and paul higginbottom have said are you getting a bigger van when you're getting a bigger van yeah it's not so much a priority now since i've had this amazing job done to this van uh i still want a bigger van but it i'll say i might keep this a good few months yet the thing is with big vans they're a bloody fortune and i can't afford it so and unless i get one and do it convert it myself which at this moment in time i'm not motivated enough to do that Sai wardby sorry if i hope i've pronounced that correctly do you prefer living like you do now to living in bricks and mortar do you think you uh that like your folks, a static might be your eventual middle ground. Love the content. Editing is top notch. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a house at some point. Because I love van life. And even when I've got a house, I'll do. I'll still do van life. Uh, but you never know. You never know. I've, I've been doing it for a bit over a year now. And it's, it's doable. We're coming towards spring. It's great. You know, and I think with a bigger... A bigger van uh, it'd be even better but I just fancy at some point having a house so you can have dinner parties <laughs> stuff like that I just think for my daughter I mean my daughter loves the the adventures and that now but as she's getting older she's gonna want her own bedroom and stuff like that Zoe Revel what do you always forget on your travels mine is my hairbrush not that you have that problem S laughing emoji <laughs> Helen maybe I never forget anything me uh, Zoe because I'm a nerd and I check I'm, I do Helen's head in I check it's like passports going on holiday I check every five minutes it's like it's not disappeared since you checked five minutes ago but because I'm like that I never forget oh, whereas Helen she, she took wrong passport if she'd have been like me you see if I'd have been with her on that trip that wouldn't have happened because I'd have checked oh I've lost my place Andy Cathy where and when is your next holiday uh, we have a dilemma because we love Benidorm so much that we keep saying shall we go to Benidorm but then Linking into what I've talked about with content and the anxiety, I think. But do people want to see Benny Dome? There's a million Benny Dome vlogs. You know, I'd like to go to Seville. I'd also like to go somewhere a bit more exotic and maybe later on in the year, if the channel keeps growing, I'll be able to do something like that. But I would say, that, I mean, we're doing this holiday that we're on now. Although, as you're watching it, but as I'm filming it, we're not on. And that's going to be in the UK. We were going to go to Spain again, but we just thought, no, we'll do. We'll, there's, there's a lot to see in the UK. So I know that's not really answered it. We, we, we never book. We sometimes book a couple of days before, so we don't know. <clears throat> this is a long one. Ellie Joanna Jacobs. Hey, up, would you take your van abroad? 
Oh, and I've been wanting to ask, what did you do when the guys revamped your van for free? Did you do something for charity or anything? I think you said you wanted to do something to repay the kindness. Okay, that's two questions, not being greedy. Here's a third question. What's the best and worst thing about living in a van? Uh, oh, gosh, so where do I start? I want to take the van abroad, definitely. In two weeks, I'm having a real major service on it so I can... Uh, feel confident that when I take it abroad that I'm afraid guys is probably going to be me on my own uh, because of Helen's work situation but you know it is where it is isn't it I'm, and I might only go for a week 10 days or something France Spain whatever I don't know the guys that refitted my van I will be eternally grateful to Concert Motorhomes for the amazing thing what they did it it changed my life in a way and uh, I mean uh, touch with Scott who owns a company quite frequently and they're just it's all hands to the deck for them because they're expanding they've won awards they're really sort of doing well at the moment uh, I am planning on going back because I'm going to do a video on Leeds in the next few weeks and I've said to Scott I'll come and I'll we'll feature you and everything it's just matching his calendars up and stuff like that on that video I mean hands up I said I need to pay it forward and I was I come up with a fantastic idea and I contacted I don't want to name the charity it the idea I had was to do with fish and chips and pensioners and providing fish and chip suppers I thought that would be a good charitable idea if we could provide through the channel we do a bit of a fundraiser and we could provide so many fish and chip suppers for pensioners it was just an idea I had and I approached a very large charity i'll not tell you which one that did, that helps older people out and i entered into a, a bit of a dialogue and then they sort of dropped off the radar i don't know if my they didn't think it were practical or whatever i don't know what happened but it got me back up to be honest uh because I thought there's people here wanting to raise money and, and do stuff and you just don't seem interested and it weren't going to be a little amount either so since then I've contacted another charity which is uh, it's not the same thing it's in mental health uh, something that I've seen recently and it, I was quite touched by it and it sort of affected me personally in the past don't want to say where it is until that comes up but I'm going to do something with that yeah and I hope it does because it's a really worthy cause Martin James Lawson where was your first trip together in the van that was York and that's one of the first videos we did it's on here York it was just a pub crawl <laughs> I think we're going them pubs what I've been talking about Valhalla and House of Trembling Madness so we love York we need to go back again